Proving arson is no simple task for Southern Arizona's fire investigators. Tonight, Nine Your Side is giving you an in-depth look at the methods they use. Justin Shecker has the story you'll only see on Nine. 14 years ago, Willie Treach spent four days at the scene of this notorious arson north of Tucson. We had uh, four uh, custom multi-million dollar homes that were burnt in the course of an evening up in the Pima Canyon area while it was still heavily under construction. Now the rural metro fire marshal treats is in charge of the department's fire investigators. <laughs> After firefighters extinguish the flames, their task is to determine where did it begin and what actually caused that event to occur. They consider all possible causes whether an accident could have been cooking related the weather do we have a potential lightning strike or something else is an electrical event sparked the fire and now you're taking that burnt puzzle and you're trying to put piece it all back together investigators work to preserve the evidence to build cases in suspected arsons a felony crime with a very low conviction rate of all the major crimes that are out there arson's probably the hardest boy said um, just because your physical evidence is totally destroyed for the most part Prior to joining the night detective squad, Ryan Preddy was a member of the Pima County Sheriff's Department Arson Investigations Unit. He says fire investigators call on them when they notice something suspicious. And he says deputies often call in man's best friend. What humans, what we might not be able to see or smell because of a dog's capability, they're able to detect certain, you know, accelerants. Compared to a decade ago, Preddy says detectives now can document the damage in more vivid detail. From the, you know, grainy, grainy photos to the digital cameras these days are, are phenomenal, and they certainly allow us to document what we're seeing and then relay that, um, you know, to other people, whether it be a, a county attorney's office or even a jury. In February 2014, Preddy says someone confessed to saying this northwest side trailer on fire. We like to have supporting evidence and, and maybe other interviews that will corroborate a confession. Detectives had just that. We had an ignition source and we had first ignited materials um, and we also had multiple multiple points of origin in that particular case. This is just one drawer of, of many that we've had over the years. The 2002 case Fire Marshal Treach pulled from the archives. The uh, primary area of origin, which was within the garage. Had the same red flag. It started in multiple locations in multiple different rooms. And so again, we, but we worked this case no differently from any other. We worked it from outside to in or from least damaged to most damaged. Their evidence photos show the section of the Oro Valley home where the primary fire was set. There's significant more damage to the dryer than to the front of the washer. Investigators determined the wife intentionally lit clothes on fire above the washer and dryer in the garage. And it was witnessed by several other occupants of the home at that point in time. Flash forward to 2015, where almost everyone has a camera on their cell phone. Treach says witnesses can provide more than testimony. They'll share that information with us, what photographs they took, what video they took, so we can use that as, as an aid uh, for our investigations. A new tool helping fire investigators piece together the puzzle of a possible arson. Justin Shecker, Kega 9 on your side.